Let's see if we could bring in... You know what? I think we're going to go for Varan and play him in the center. Or do I want to have Kimmich move Azpilicueta in the middle and put Kimmich on the side? I still haven't decided. Let's see, what is Varan's speed? Varan's speed, 88. See, that's what we need. We are so slow at the back. Koulibaly is an absolute brick wall. Let's see, Kimmich... Wow, his stats are ridiculous. You know what? Let's bring in Varan. That's who we're going to go. Let's go in for Varan. Let's approach to buy. So he has a release clause of 101 2. Oh, this, so this is interesting. He has a release clause of 101 2, but his value only shows up of. I think I just saw it. It shows up at only like 40 something. 49. So do I think. You know what? Let's skip the release clause on this one. Let's go ahead and begin negotiations and see where we can get. Oh, Lopetegui is going to discuss with us. That's interesting. So, Lopetegui, let's see. Come on, give it. just give us Varane. You're not there any anymore anyway. Let's go ahead. Could we do a player swap? See, cool. so it's going to be Koulibaly. You know what? Rudiger and Maguire are maybe... You know what? Zuma's rated 80. Maybe we can use Rudiger as a make weight and let Maguire and Zuma play the League and Cup games. Hmm. Koulibaly, Azpilicueta, obviously not Koulibaly. You know what? <clears throat> let's see what they'll... Obviously they're not going to say yes to this, but let's see how much money in return. We'd only... So they would take him. And for 84, that's not bad. Proposed new transfer fee. Let's try 75 and see what they say. So, can we settle? No, they're sticking to their guns. You know what? The goal was to sign a world-class center back. Here's our chance to sign him. Let's go ahead and accept that. Let's get right into... You know what? Like I said, let's go ahead and adjust the wage budget because I think it's a little off right now. Let's just make sure we have not enough to offer him a ridiculous salary. Uh, so what was it? It ended up being 80. So let's just put it there to make absolute certain we have the space. But let's go ahead and negotiate with Rafael Varane. In my opinion, there's maybe a handful of defenders you can consider the best defender, center back in the world. He is definitely in there. Maybe uh, Varane, Skriniar, Chiellini. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting Van Dijk. Let's go ahead and accept. Let's see... Yep, obviously Varane's going to, yeah, competition in the squad. He's one of the best center backs in the world. Of course, he's going to be playing. Let's discuss the length of his contract. We'll do five years, even though we're only doing this season. That's what they're going to want. Uh, I don't care about the release clause. No one's going to be signing him this year. Okay, salary. Oh, I hate when they do this. So his current wage is 210. I'd rather them just offer the salary and me accept it. So... Let's do 250 just to make certain. He's on 210 now. His signing bonus, let's do let's do a two million dollars. Let's do 2.5 on the signing bonus, and that should be more than enough. That should be a ridiculous package. Let's see what they say. <laughs> that came out really wrong. <laughs> Yep, he's going to get in the team. We probably overpaid there, but I didn't want to risk out on not having him. Let's go ahead and look at our squad. So remember, this is going to be Dybala with Jorginho on the bench, SMS in the midfield. And then we're going to have Rafael Varane with Koulibaly. That is, I think Varane's going to go there. Because Koulibaly has a good left foot. I mean, in the game, it's only two because they don't give defenders high opposite foots. But he has a, Koulibaly has... Actually, it's kind of ridiculous. Two stars. Koulibaly makes great passes on his left foot all the time. You know what? Let's put Varane there and Koulibaly there. All of a sudden, we have a brick wall of a back line. What other changes could I make? I might try to swap out Azpilicueta for Kimmich. Let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, so we have actually gone ahead and sold Bachuai and Rudiger. I think what we're going to do is Azpilicueta and Maguire are going to be a backup center back pairing. 
Uh, we are totally off the rails here, by the way, but I just want to assemble such a ridiculous team to win the Champions League in Season 2. But Azpilicueta and Maguire are going to be the backup two center backs. Koulibaly and Varane are going to be the starting two center backs. So we don't really need Rudiger anymore. Bacuay, we don't really need him as well because Werner is going to start every Champions League game. Um, so I've gone ahead and sold them too. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and accept that. We're going to go ahead and accept that. So let's see how much, hopefully their, their uh, own terms come out well with the other team. We'll get a huge, let's see, Piazon, go ahead and accept that. Accept that as well. Hopefully, and you know what? I really want to bring Kimmich into the team is what I want to do. So let's see what those come back with. Kimmich, and the money's really adding up here with these sales. So Kimmich on the right. Balotelli to Wolfsburg. That's so silly. Uh, let's see. Victor Moses. Yeah, we don't really need him either, to be honest. Man, let's see what ends up happening here. So Moses. So Bacuayi sold. Rudiger sold. I've been so caught up with this transfer market. Holy crap, that's actually the start of the season. Um, okay, so when does the Champions League start? Because that has have those groups been drawn yet? Okay, so it doesn't look like the Champions League groups have been drawn yet, but that is actually our first game of the season tomorrow. So let's go ahead and put in the full lineup we have at our disposal. Let's see. Let's go ahead and look here. See, the starting lineup is the main thing. Abraham has gotten himself. We don't want to go too overboard selling. We still have a bulky enough team to do well in all competitions, but this is going to be our starting lineup for now going into the season. Werner, Hazard, Dybala. I just realized I've been forgetting training because I've been so obsessed with the transfer market. SMS, Conte, Alonso, Varane, Koulibaly, Azpilicueta, Kepa. What a ridiculous team. Let's go ahead and see how they do in the first game. Uh, remember, guys, like I said, this season is all about the Champions League, so I'm probably not going to be playing the EPL games, but I'm going to still go ahead and sim them and see how we do. All right, guys, first game of the season versus Leeds up to Division 1. Former greats, let's see how they do here. Hazard early up 1-0. Just hope nobody gets injured. That's the only thing. I'm thinking about maybe not even using this starting lineup, maybe using just a complete secondary string because I don't want to get anyone injured. This is all about the Champions League. Man, we're only going to hold the first game of the season. Stanford Bridge, Dybala puts the game out of reach. We're going to take this one to nothing. All right, what I'm going to do is go ahead and upgrade Marcus Alonso. Chelsea have been dying to bring in Alexandra for ages now. I know I've said before, I think uh, Marcus Alonso is a great left back and they don't necessarily need Sandro, but let's go ahead and see if we can make it happen for the game because Sandro is just incredible. Gonna have to do, how about 50.5? So that's not too bad. Let's come back at them with 46.5 and see what they say. Okay, and then we got Alexandra in the team for an absolute steal. Let's jump in and negotiate. All right, so I've gone ahead and done the negotiating. Everything was just, I didn't want to show the screens because it's boring, but everything was just accept, accept, accept. And we have Alexandro in the team. The negotiations went well. All of a sudden, we have a ridiculous back line. Um, the last I want to do is swap out Azpilicueta. Hopefully not even swap him out, but let me see if I could bring in Kimmich. Let's see how much he's going to cost us because that would really round out like quite a ridiculous ridiculous team so let me see the budget again i can never remember where it is here it is it's in the office what's our budget right now so we might have to swap out a player to bring in kimmich uh for now let's go ahead and put this all on transfer budget all right so we've actually gone ahead and sold zappa cost and moses i forgot those deals were still out there so we should definitely be able to bring in kimmich uh, right after this game, we have, right now we have a 73 million budget, not including wages. So, I mean, if you just to show you, so we still have a pretty healthy budget to try to bring in Kimmich. We can go ahead and save that for now. Actually, I don't want to forget. Let's go ahead and leave that all the way over for now. And let's get into this big game versus United. Let's see how the boys are going to do. See how they go. I'm honestly, I don't want to make you guys watch this every single time, so I'm just going to go out and skip again. 2-0 over United. 
Alexis Sanchez hasn't done anything, gets himself injured. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try to bring in Kimmich. So Kimmich actually has a release clause of 61-2, and so we have that. So instead of fiddling around, why don't we actually just why don't we actually just go into our finances? To lower this a bit. So 60, to put it about there should be okay. All right, guys, we are virtually out of money here, but I have gone ahead. We have like 4 million pounds left, but I have gone ahead and assembled what I think is going to be our final squad, at least for up until the Christmas window. I think we have a pretty ridiculous team here, and we should definitely have no excuse for not winning the Champions League. So just to round it off, we have Werner up top. Hazard, Dybala, and Asensio as the front four. That is just ridiculous. SMS and Conte in the midfield. That should be an absolute wall with creativity with SMS in there. Alexandro in the left. Kimmich on the right. Koulibaly and Varane in the middle. Kappa in goal. If you ask me, I don't think we could really assemble a team that's too much better than this. We got the Chelsea stalwarts hold o held over are actually now only Kepa and Hazard. Those are the last... Oh, Conte too. We got Hazard, Conte, and Kepa. Those are the three in there from the beginning. Everyone else is, is new, but let's see. If we go ahead and look at the bench here, we have uh, Caballero, Azpilicueta, Alonso, Bakayoko, Jorginho, Pedro, and Abraham will be our bench. Let me go ahead and show you guys the... My backup team. So this is going to be like the cup squad game, maybe uh, EPL games versus lower teams, lower half teams. Uh, so we got Abraham up top, young stud. We got Pedro on the on the right, Loftus Cheek playing as a left midfielder. Jorginho, Bakayoko, and Palasic, Pasalic, sorry, in the midfield. As for the Quinta, Maguire, Omaru, Alonso, and Caballero rounding out the 11. If you ask me for a second string, that's about as good of a second string as you could put together at this point in time. I think that'll be more than capable of doing okay in the FA Cup uh, and the Carabao Cup, at least the early rounds. Um, on the bench, we have Ampadu, Gehi, Gwehi, I don't know, Fabregas, Musanda, Piazon, and Mason Mount. Uh, Rob Green is still kicking around in there as our backup. I put my entire first 11 on the bench because this team I only want to use in the Champions League. I want them to be rested at every occasion possible. Um, I still will use them in big games that we don't have a Champions League game close by. So I'm going to have to be cognizant of the schedule. So like this Liverpool game, I could play my full first team. Uh, and then versus Oldham. Oldham? 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 I don't know. But we can go ahead and put in... Uh, so that game will switch. Um, I don't think the Champions League groups are still... Yeah, the Champions League groups still haven't been drawn yet. Let's go ahead and make sure we got our first team in there. Let's go ahead and sim this game versus Liverpool. 